Hi all, welcome back to Paperback Thoughts and in this week's video we talk about Somerset Mom's Off Human Bondage. Now Off Human Bondage was published in 1915 making uh, this one of the early masterpieces of the author. This um, book definitely has a lot of autobiographical references from the author's life which makes this book all the more interesting. This is a 700 page long classic and tells the story of Philip Carey's life right from the point he's born till he turns around 30. The character is born with a clubfoot disability and he loses his parents at a very young age. So he's taken into guardianship by his aunt and uncle, which shapes much of Philip Carey's childhood. You know, and when he goes to school, he is actually, um, he believes that he's hindered from a, what he believes to be a normal life because of his clubfoot and because he lacked parental care and love. His life takes a drastic change when he goes to Germany against the wish of his aunt and uncle who wants him to go to Oxford and become a biker. Instead, he decides to spend a year in Germany. Since then, he's exposed to a lot of what is the real world problems and the characters who has, who lives by a lot of philosophies, who influences Phillips and Philip is able to draw a philosophy for himself on how to live and how to overcome his insecurities of the disability and things like that. Philip is as confused as anybody uh, in this modern world like he's confused about his career he's confused about how he should live his life he's confused about the meaning of life and what how it all fits in so it's very interesting to see how uh, philip's life is shaped around his career choices because he spends two years in london trying to become an accountant which he absolutely hates then he spends two years in paris to try to become a painter which again he uh, discontinues and he goes to who goes back to london to again become a doctor in the later chapters, the author focuses on Philip Carey's struggle to find a meaning of his life. He's struggling with uh, losing his friends to diseases or die death of his friends in wars. He's losing of a fortune in the stock market and uh, the struggles of unrequited love, which is a major theme in the second half of the book. Needless to say, there's a roller coaster of emotional reading experience. There's happiness, there's depression, there is poverty, there is everything you can ever imagine uh, what a life can go through. Now my favorite character in the book is Philip Carey and you feel so much for him because since this is a 700 page long book, uh, once you're, you spend so much time reading this and once you're done with the book, you actually start missing those characters. Now, Philip Carey meets a lot of people with very interesting philosophies or take on life. Ultimately, uh, they fail to live with whatever they have preached. So it's a reality of life that you can it's fun to read about philosophy uh, personally i love to read about philosophy and talk about philosophy but when you actually encounter a problem in your life it's really hard to uh, make that practical now the second thing is if you want to be happy stop searching for the meaning of life you know and this is the one of the most abstract points which uh, i have spent a lot of time discussing with my friends and i have spent a lot of time researching and reading on but there is no specific uh, defined one-size-fits-all meaning for life. That's it, it, it's the biggest irony because it's only when you um, stop searching for the meaning of life, you actually get to the meaning of life. I really recommend that you pick this one up. Even though it's a little bit long, the characters will stay with you for a lifetime. And uh, there's something called a book hangover, which I felt after reading this book is that you find it difficult to move on to the next book because you're so hung up with the characters and events of the previous book that you have read. So uh, it has been a wonderful reading experience to me. I hope you also like it.